This is Kate Beckinsale. You're listening to Beckinsale. Oh, what a drive. Depending on what kind of treat they bring, Joel or Kent will be right next to me. On our road trip, what a drive. <laughs> yeah. So jazzy. Do that. The rest of the time. Is the whole show? This is going to be a really annoying road trip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Bake and Sell. I'm Joel. I'm Kent. And I'm Zach. We'd like to thank you for listening to our last show, our 80s TV category show so with fun. Casey. I hope you got more points than I did uh, from having seen some of these shows. Yeah. Steve Hansen on Instagram says, a great nostalgia trip. I loved remembering all those TV shows. One of my late dad's favorites was actually Vicky from Small Wonder. He laughed so hard at her robot voice. He couldn't believe how she did it without cracking up. Fun uh, fact, I looked it up and I did find a blooper reel yeah. uh, of Small Wonder and I sent it to Steve. Oh, funny. Oh, because yeah. she does crack up. She does. Okay. <laughs> she's, I mean, she's a little girl doing a robot sure. voice. Of course she's going to laugh. Speaking of crack ups, Adam Crump. Hi, Adam. Uh, Said, hey, guys, great show. I have to say that Magnum P.I. is still a fun show to watch. Miami Vice still holds up even now, except for some weird editing. Weren't both of those shows remade as well? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Don't watch those. Uh, And as for the fall guy, love the premise, love the stunts, love the sweet GMC. Of course, he had to bring up the car. Mm -hmm. Uh, but But so hard to watch. It's just so bad. And good job, Kent. Dot, 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 dot. Aaron Um, Gray equal fire Oh, Aaron Gray, beady, (laughs) beady. For sure. And finally, Verbus Vivum says, Golden Girls is an all-time favorite show of mine, and I am, all capitals, appalled by Joel's treatment of (laughs) it. Yeah. The sheer amount of sass in that show makes it uh, like chef kiss hands. Oh, yeah. I didn't didn't know that was an emoji until I saw her put like two of those. Twice. Uh, Also, might need to check out some murder she wrote after listening to this episode. So she (laughs) disagrees with me, but also agrees with me. Every year we're like, hey, watch this new movie. It's really good. Or Murder, She Wrote, that came out in the 80s. <laughs> yeah. To wow. the 90s. Okay. And speaking of comments from those who listen to this show, yeah, yeah, yes. there's still time to take our pre-quiz huh? to see if you have what it takes to be the listener of Bacon Cell with a capital L. We have our form, our Google form we put on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, on our social media channels. Go there, click the link, fill out the form, take the quiz. Even if you don't think you're going to beat it, which is, you know, no one, no one's really going to get 100% on this. If I they didn't. Are, if they are, they're cheating. I yes. took the quiz for the very first time ever, and I didn't do so hot. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm on the show. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, but You're the, the co-host. We want you to, and, and it's, it's just for fun. <laughs> it's for fun to take, and then if you do score enough points, you may be eligible to come on our anniversary show, which is coming up. So fill out the pre-quiz. It will close at midnight on Wednesday, April 5th. So get excited. Go. Love yeah. doing this every year. The, uh, the picture of the trophy is out there. And yeah, it's a doozy. ridiculous new trophy oh, I was this year. Bring that tonight to show you guys. Oh, yeah, man. Sorry, but that's not what we're talking about today. What are we talking about today, Zach? We're going on a road trip, guys. Yeah, road trip, spring break road can, trip. Can we please go on a road trip? I need to get out of this state. I would love so that. much weather. Let's <laughs> so go much weather so where much weather. there's <laughs> not. Isn't that weather. always true? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Weather is everywhere. So, uh, but as you know. Um, Bake and sell us not. We're going to take a normal road trip. That's no, not who we're, we we're are. Not just, this is where we tier all of our favorite road trips. Yeah, down. Sour Patch Watermelons, yeah. Sour Patch Kids, I, 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 Sour except, Patch Gummy Worms. Yeah, yeah. Except we decided not to. Why? Because we Why? decided to do a schoolyard pick. Oh, no. You know, like, oh, sometimes so, those can be good. Yeah, because then you're like, oh, yeah. Oh, I'll get video the Sour Patch Watermelons. Video games for a slumber party, for that example. That was great. Yeah, that was yeah. fun. We did on episode 337. We did a video game party. Right. That oh, was good. But we're not doing that. Because we open the door to the listener. No. Always a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I stand by it. And uh, we asked you for the worst snack to bring on a road trip. Honestly now, shocked. We're not saying like, you know, garbage food. Yeah. Like don't get food up moldy or anything like that. These are these are regular road trip snacks that some people like and some people abhor. I feel like we should have asked people for personal stories because when they brought up these snacks, quote unquote, I wonder if it's them who like it or... Or if it's friends of theirs they went on a road trip with who brought that horrifying snack. And we, you can tell us when the show airs. Yeah. Click on the link, or click the link and make uh, a comment. Definitely breaking etiquette. I will yes. say that. But So what we're going to do, we're going to do it like episode 252 with Annoying Animated Movies, where we're picking the best of the worst. So we reached out to you. We got some of your feedback. We narrowed it down to 21 different choices, <laughs> which means, it, well, well, we'll get to that in a second. Yeah. But these are things you can generally find at a gas station. So when we talk about it, we're not talking like the epitome, best of, Mm -hmm. whatever it may be. 
It's whatever you can grab. Yeah, no, pinch. this is you a, are on a, a road trip. Yes, and this is what you'll get. No, this along is purely the, way. the listeners' grocery list when they went to something like Seven yeah. Eleven. We're not saying a nice gas station like Maverick, for this example, not a sponsor. This, is, this isn't a Save for a gas station tearing but, show. <laughs> but it's like when you go to Seven Eleven and your shoes are sticking to the floor, mm-hmm. and then you see like yeah. the the wrap sandwiches that are kind of under a sort of. And a you cooler. just came out of a questionable bathroom anyway. So yeah, you're truly. This and the entire place is. And so Joel and I have to pick among these treats, among these snacks. And we want to convince Zach that we have chosen the best snacks. Because here's the scenario. Mm -hmm. Zach, Mm -hmm. you have just got a dream car. Whatever car you want. Uh, Joel, that would be the Aston Martin V12 Vanquish as featured in Die Another Day. Wow. Uh, Whoa, is that uh, a fancy car? Is produ- produced from 2001 to 2005. So exactly. Roughly, Zach, can, for, I, can I go? Can I ride in the car with you? 460 horsepower and two seats. What color is it? It's silver. Okay, it's a silver okay, car. Can I go with you? I got it. Yeah, uh, it it's two seats. Can I go with you? Can I go with you? Two How are you going to decide, Zach? One of you is on my lap. <laughs> that's not safe me no no i will only choose you based on the best of the worst yeah. of these streets i have a feeling so you're paying for gas money mm-hmm. and we are paying for the snacks for we're gonna say this is like a a two and a half three day trip this is a long trip so we're gonna need a lot of snacks in my hundred and fifty thousand dollar british car that's gonna break down along the way i'm sure yeah. You know, there are places that we I've, could have... I've changed my own oil once, Zach. <laughs> hey. So I know a thing. I've changed the tires. Huh. I've done that. And I've seen a James Bond movie. <laughs> That's also true. Pretty equally matched. So we could really go anywhere. We've talked about vacations in previous shows. We've talked about going like to uh, the Banff Hotel in Canada. Yeah. And that would be really nice. I yeah, think, awesome. I think we should all go together. But considering Zach is only going to choose one of us. And considering this is a, a, a gas station road trip snack It's got to be pretty trashy. Yeah. It, yeah. It, can't, it can't be somewhere exotic. Okay. So we're actually going to go all the way to Austin, Minnesota, guys. Minnesota. Well, I thought you were going to say Texas. Yeah, no. Austin, no, Minnesota? Austin um, is pretty cool. I thought we were getting away from weather. <laughs> so much weather, as Joel would say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so this is 18 hours, 16 minutes away. From where we are. Yeah, we yes, we could have gone to the East Coast. And maybe if the trip is going well, and if more of us were going with more snacks, we could go longer, but it seems like only one of us. <laughs> well, considering how, how, many, how many times the car is going to break down. Well, yes. it's going to be really sad when it breaks down. And I don't think they've ever seen an Aston Martin driving through Wyoming and South Dakota. <sighs> Uh, having, the worst drive. Having done that, having done that drive. <laughs> Where to? Where did you go? We were going to Minnesota drive? to visit uh, Minnesota. My my wife's sister. Okay, uh, lovely time. Had a wonderful time there. But I'll tell you what, getting there and getting back was. I mean, the kids were great, but the the drive was miserable. Oh, absolutely. Wyoming was terrible weather. South Dakota was just kind of ugly. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> kind of. Ugly. But Mount Rushmore was cool. But the reason we're going to Austin, Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> It's not for the cool music scene or food scene. Well, cool actually, music scene in Austin, Minnesota. Austin, Texas. Is, is, uh, yeah. is there the Mall of America there somewhere? Uh, somewhere nearby. No, actually, in that state, there is the Paul Bunyan statue. In the, that state. The Jolly Green Giant. Yeah. The Ball of Twine. Are we seeing any of that? We're going to go for the food, right? I feel like you should always travel for food. Yes. We're, we're, we're going on a road trip to food and bringing food. Yeah. Of course. Get, get this. Here's something that people didn't mention that we could have brought in the car, but somewhere where we're traveling to, it's the Spam Museum. Spam Museum? Spam! And it's not called Spam Museum, like one word. It's the Spam Museum. You can become a Spam ambassador <laughs> when you go there. I want They that. have a restaurant within the Spam Museum. I wonder what they serve. <laughs> <laughs> Probably like... Please bless anything but... Anything Hawaiian. Yeah. Mm. So that's where we're headed. Uh, and when I say we, only one of us, because and whoever want- doesn't get chosen... Doesn't get to go. I want to go to there. If uh, well, say this: Zach is choosing one of us based entirely, based solely on the snacks that we are bringing before him, and based on the list you gave us of the worst snacks. Of the worst snacks. Oh, the other person, the one that doesn't get to chosen, they don't get to go, and they just have to sit there and eat all their snacks. They have to go. So they have a staycation with all the bad snacks. They have to to go sit (laughs) home by themselves. And watch reruns of one of the eighty shows we talked last time and eat their eat their snacks. Oh great. Joel's already gonna win. What was the overrated it's, ones we said? It mm-hmm. I said Golden Girls. What did you say? Joel, I picked them up at Babies for okay. that one. So whoever goes No, 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 wh- no. Whoever doesn't go has to stay home. <laughs> so you have to sit there eat eating their snacks, snacks while watching, watching your overrated show. Muppet from last Babies week. or Golden Listen, Girls. One of you makes out better there, just saying. <laughs> Joel's already won because admission to the spam museum is free for anyone oh. who goes. And so that means Joel's already planned this trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I already went to the Potato Museum. Uh, they do charge, though, in Idaho. So Wow, messed yeah. up. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to flip a coin. An actual coin. An actual coin that we found just now. And it took us 10 minutes. It did. No, no one carries change anymore. <laughs> but whoever wins the coin toss yeah. has the power of choice. The first person gets first pick, and the, the second, second person gets, gets the next two. Next two and but then, then it goes it's just back and, back and forth. And forth. Yes. Sure. Yes. Yeah, we figured that out just now, too. <laughs> so, Zach, if you could, please flip the coin and... Um, Who's who? I was visitor last time, so I'll let Kent call it near this time. Kent, what what would you, heads or tails? Tails. Heads. Ah. So I win. Yes, you yes. win. You get to pick Joel, if you want to go first or pick the next two. I will pick the next two, Kent. Right. I will let you go no. first. Kent will have the first selection. Jill will have the following two, and then they will go back and forth from there. And you're picking from a list of 21. Now, we're two lists of 10. That means one treat on this list, listener, will be deemed <laughs> the absolute worst because it won't even be selected. It'll be like us in sports and school. It will not be picked. So it's a kid not getting on the kickball team at all? Not at all. He has to go take his yeah, but this is like a horrible kid. Zach, before I choose, could I hear our selections? All yes. Right. What are we picking from at this gas station? And once again, your fault, everyone. And so I'll- basically, we met Zach at a gas station. It is <laughs> hey. Aston Martin. He's like, go get the treats. Come back to the car. <laughs> one of you is going to have to go home with your suitcase and your snacks. <laughs> I will pick That's one of so you. mean. Depending no. on what you come out from that 7-Eleven with. Did I mention Zach's wearing a three-piece suit? Yes. <laughs> All right. In alphabetical order, we have buffalo wings, cheese sticks, chips and salsa, corn nuts, Cured meats, so your salami, pepperoni, sure. etc. Cured yes. meats, Funyuns, gas station pre-made sandwich like egg salad or tuna. <laughs> Those <laughs> little boxes, triangle boxes. Mm-hmm. Goldfish, good and plenty. Hard-boiled eggs, nachos, Nature Valley granola bars, pickle in a pouch, pistachios with the shell, pork rinds, sesame sticks, Slim Jims, soup. <laughs> soup. <laughs> it's good soup. Spicy Cheetos. Oh, flaming hot. Flaming hot. Yeah. It was submitted to spicy. Yeah. So. Sunflower seeds and tuna fish pouches. Hey, while I'm in there, yeah. is there a Snickers in 7 <laughs> Eleven at all? It's no. a w- M&M's maybe? No, this nope. is a weird 7 yes, Eleven. It's weird. The, uh, the Sour Patch Factory blew up. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> you just made Kent so sad. I just cried, actually. <laughs> Wow. All right, Ken, that's what you get to pick from. And keep in mind, like I said, this is gas station quality. So this is not like Buffalo Wild Wings, Buffalo Wings. No. This is like 7-Eleven Wings. So, Joel, obviously we're going to try to game each other. We're going to try to game Zach. But here's my logic, and I know you have different logic. I'm still only going to pick what I would actually eat. Granted, by the end, there's stuff that's almost inedible, right? Right. For both of us. Yes. But I'm also really concerned about, honestly... Getting all the the finger dust and everything on Zach's car if I'm wiping it on the side of the seats. Obviously, the scent will make an impact or spilling. And that's the thing is these were picked primarily because of uh, taste, obviously, but because of a messiness factor, of course, and a smell factor. Because some of these, you don't want to be in a a tiny little Aston Martin with some of these scents. Well, just want to remind you, gentlemen. Yes, it's a small car. So small. In fact, the only space in the trunk is for treats. You're going to oh. have to have uh, leave your luggage at the 7-Eleven. <laughs> wow. Hey, we, I don't need it. <laughs> I got all the snacks I want. There That's survival go. right there. Yeah. What's the dress so, code at the Spam Museum? Mm. So, Zach, keep in mind, you know, this is going to be tough for Joel and I, but you you do have to share these with us. Oh. That's true. And, and, Zach, we want you to base this on you eating them. Because, mm. like, some things, it's like, oh, if they have that, it doesn't bother me. But we, you actually will be partaking in all these as well. Uh, the factor as well is we'll have to trade off driving. It's a long trip. Yeah. And yeah. so... Can this treat be handed to the driver yes. with ease? Yeah, that's yes. a good question. Wow. Also, we're not really stopping at restaurants or anything, but this is our sustenance for the next two to three days. Oh, no <laughs> Wendy's drive throughs in the Aston no. Martin? No. Okay. You, you spent all your budget on that car. Oh, great. <laughs> and it's a very nice car. We want to point that out. Yes. With I'm, Cheetos. Yes. Fin- I'm swinging for the fences. Okay. Kent with the first pick. With Slim Jims. Whoa. Wow. wow. That's right. your so first out of the pick. gate is yeah. Slim, Slim Jims. Jims. I'm going to tell you why. Because it's kind of meat, right? <laughs> if you it need, is. If you of. need something savory. By the way, I like that there's no beverages on this trip whatsoever. No, <laughs> oh, we're, not, we're not having anything to drink. <laughs> we're dead. We can share one bottle of Dasani. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Actually, yeah, no one chose days? Dasani. So I'm going to go with Slim Jim slash Meat Sticks. Because yeah. granted, we would, the three of us would choose beef jerky as a go-to. 
But but some, beef jerky some people wasn't. did say beef jerky because when you open it in a car, there is a powerful odor that goes with it. Yeah. But it is like a staple But it's also snack. good. It yeah. Slim Jims. Give me the teriyaki. They're cylindrical yeah. meat sticks. Shredded meat in a cylinder casing. Slim uh, Jims at least come in a packaging. It's not like the questionable like little beef sticks that, that you just grab from you know that are right at the they also, register. That, that thing is this was Slim Jim slash beef sticks. Oh, so so those who, as well. Who knows what Ken Skip brings? No, it's it's boy. really good. I'm gonna tell you what Slim Jims are made out of. Um mostly beef. From Mostly. The, from the oldest cows. They're called utility cows. <laughs> and also... <laughs> it's my gr- band's name in college. <laughs> yeah, what, what kind cows. of music did you get? Utility to cows? Yeah. We actually did opera. <laughs> oh, that was so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's combined and mixed with mechanically separated chicken. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's kind of think pink slime, mm-hmm. right? These are, by the way, Slim Jims we all eat. Mm-hmm. And it's I'm kind not of a fan personally. pureed chicken bones, nerves, blood vessels, and a small amount of meat, they say. The sticks would be gray if it weren't for the sodium nitrate, which actually gives it color. Um, one four inch Slim Jim contains one sixth of your daily sodium intake. Oh my gosh. So look, if you eat six of these, you're covered for the day. That's all we need to eat. Uh, fun fact also about <laughs> for sodium, <laughs> uh, about 569 million of these cylindrical meat sticks are produced annually in at least 21 varieties. Yeah. But I, the reason I choose this, I know it's a weird one. But just because we're not stopping for fast food, I feel like we are going to need something a little more savory. And what's more savory than the saltiest meat stick? And that is Slim Jim. So that's my first choice. Snap into a Slim Jim. That's mm. what I was going to say. Not you once. Can. There was no Macho Man impersonation there. I, I tried to just keep it real. That made me sad. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. You want excitement? A little bit. Now, Joel, you have choices two and three. So my choices. Uh, I'm just going to go out here on a limb here. Okay. And say that sunflower seeds aren't as bad as someone submitted they are. Sure, you do have to spit out the seed shells into a saliva saturated cup, and that's why it was probably on this list because you got to spit somewhere. I know some people crack the window and spit it out. Some people do it completely dry; they don't put it in their mouth. Which I'm like, well, how do you get the flavor? But I chose. I'm choosing sunflower seeds. Party foul pick. already. You're going to do that in an Aston Martin? This is near the bottom of my list. Sunflower seeds could not be more annoying, and yet they are the, one of the best ways to stay awake on a long road trip. Since we're not stopping, we need hey, these Zach's to like, keep hey, ourselves awake. Where Could I put my Dasani water in the cup holder? No. Joel's weird solo cup <laughs> half filled with saliva no, no, no. covered it's between shells. my legs. Oh, okay. Because that's getting all better. over the seat. In, in the, Zach it, is going to find these holder. shells for years. Or are you going to be spitting it out the window? And, <laughs> and it's going to be on the side of my car. The side of my car. <laughs> Pasted I do have to with ask, saliva. I do want to ask you a question. No, you already no, lost the game, Joel. These are great for staying awake. They're not too filling, so you can munch on them without getting full or sick. And there's a variety variety of good tastes i could get mustard flavored for zach sure i could get uh, ranch flavored for me yeah this is the barbecue flavored uh, chili limon there's so many different varieties we can get here you can get a variety of flavors savory oh, flavors yeah i'm sure this gas station we went to with so little food has all these flavors of sunflower seeds what they on do. earth do you get from a sunflower seed it's like just uh, the salt look, on the outside. You burn more calories oh, yeah. <laughs> than you're eating. So we're basically losing weight as we're driving. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Good point. <laughs> um, by the way, one of the most inconsiderate snacks there is. No, but seriously, one of the best road trip snacks. Staying awake, keeping yourself alert, even just munching on something to, to kill the boredom as we listen to the James Bond soundtracks over and over Uh-oh, and over again. Zach. Yeah, I'll, I'll allow it. You yeah. are driving. You only live twice. But uh, I did want to ask you guys, do you eat the shells or not? Spit. Spit. I don't eat sunflower seeds. I don't like them. Really? Yeah. Sunflower seeds are way too much effort for what you get out yep. of them. No, 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 no. They, you might as well just dump salt it's on your basically, tongue. It's like, yeah. it's like chewing gum, but savory, because you're basically rolling around in your mouth to make it the flavor, crack it with your bat and Sometimes bat molars. I give up halfway through and I just spit it out. I don't like my chewing gum to stab me in the gums. <laughs> Well, if you're crunching up the seeds that way, I just do the quick half bite and then it cracks it open. Get it out. This is all without my fingers. I can crack it in my mouth and spit out the seeds. There's seed. saliva everywhere in this car. What's your second choice, Joel? <laughs> well, I, I, I do want to point out if you are eating sunflower shells, uh-huh. you should probably stop because they are fibrous and indigestible. The shells could damage your digestive tract and could do intestinal so it can, blockage. It could stab so, me in the teeth and all along the way. So we have a weapon and pink slime. <laughs> That's Sun- our top two choices, Zach. <laughs> uh, no, but I definitely think sunflower seeds is one of the best road trip snacks available out here. And I was kind of surprised it was on here. And the only reason I think it would be is because people get grossed out by the spit cup. Joel, that's such a dead answer. <laughs> this stuff. is the most dead answer. They go a really long way. Yeah. I just picture Joel on a road trip and oh. it's in like a station Oh, you want wagon. a dead answer? I'll give you a dead answer because my number two pick is goldfish. Oh! Okay. So these are easy to eat. A very clean Mild treat. in flavor. No. But. But with kids. Well, here's the with thing. kids. With kids, it is 
but it's, terrible, it's you eating goldfish them. You, I'm still finding goldfish in my car. Isn't it weird that when they, they when they crackle on the floor, they multiply? Yeah, as well. <laughs> it's like a miracle. <laughs> But, I've read that somewhere. <laughs> uh, but seriously, this is like if you have a couple adults in a car, goldfish are a great little snack Who, to have. What adult brings goldfish? <laughs> uh, once again, I'm a dad. <laughs> I, I get the giant milk carton of, of goldfish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're delicious. I don't know why they're on this list. They're so good. Because of kids. Like the, the they person do, that submitted it said, if you they feel a little cliche, in there, it's I like, think. Yeah. It's, it's a mess back there. These things crumble so easily. They do. If you want to hear more about goldfish, I don't have any fun facts here because you can listen to it on Bank of Bacon Sale episode 303. Bet you can't tear just one where we Joel, tear don't, chips. Don't, don't, don't bring that show up. <laughs> Joel, what are you doing? It's a cracker and we Why? must up, Joel. It, it, quality assurance was not there that week. <laughs> so right. there's, there's my number two pick. Kent, what is your second choice? This one's actually tough. Yeah. Because there's one I w- well, this, would like to eat. It's okay. the game. This is the gaming the system. Because okay, this one's this one's tough for me because there's one I want to eat next, but I'd have to eat it quick, and so I'm trying to game where Zach is at, and also with, what I might take. Yeah, because I know one you're going to take, and I want to steal it from I'm you in your head, but I'm not going to. I am going to go with nachos. Nachos, nachos this early in the game. This early in the game, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to be like, hey, Zach, we need to eat these within 10 minutes <laughs> because we can't eat these tomorrow. We have to eat them right now. The nacho cheese, and this is why I choose this instead of another alternative on the list, it generally stays on the chips like you, because you can douse the chips however you want. The gas the station tray. cheese that as soon as you pump it, it sprays everywhere because it's almost out. Oh, come on. Well, <laughs> it, it, listen, it's all the, over the, the gas counter, station we go to. All over your yes. shirt, all over your hands. I'm not dispensing it in the car, though. I'll clean it up You're before I get in the there. whole tub of nacho <laughs> cheese listen, with you. But I think this is like perfectly shareable and they like it kind of gets cauterized on the chip. And so I'll like hand it to Zach. I'll Zach, I will feed you a oh, nacho cheese tortilla you. round chip. Oh yeah. That'll go well when it starts flopping, when it gets all soggy after the oh, nacho cheese is on it and you're trying to feed it to him and it just slops Honestly, on his, on his three piece suit. <laughs> <laughs> I know you would wear a three piece suit. If I you were driving that car. that car. I would listen. You also have a little garbage after it because you have a little paper tray. Just don't let it tip over because the nacho cheese is getting on the... Are you putting the, the chili on there too? <laughs> no, heavens no. Or jalapenos? Never meat dispenser. No jalapenos because I don't want that, that juice there. Just nacho cheese. Straight up nacho cheese. Straight up nacho cheese. And what do you get? Seven round chips and way too much nacho cheese. But that's what I choose because I think it would actually be tasty. This is what personally... Not- and I'll make Zach drive faster because he'll really have to go to the bathroom after getting gas station oh, nachos. just wait. This will happen later in the show. <laughs> Uh, I, I did find fun fact, by the way, that nachos were invented in 1941 by a man named Ignacio Anaya. Oh, my gosh. What? His, His name's Ignacio, Nacho. Ign- Nacho is a nickname for Ignacio. Uh, but they basically just had a restaurant. Someone said, make me something new. They cut up some tortillas, fried them up, put some uh, actual cheese on it and some jalapenos. Mm. And it wasn't until 1976 at a Texas Rangers game where they started doing ballpark nachos with the liquid cheese. on. Oh, them. now I hate them. Zach, do you have thoughts on nachos? I... I'm a sucker for fake nacho cheese sauce. I love it. It is my by far and away my favorite thing that you can get at Taco Bell is the side of cheese sauce. I think it's just good that we can't see inside the cheese dispenser that it's not see through. Imagine it's a bag. bag. But back in what's in it? What's in it is in the bag. Do we know that replaceable bag? It's a replaceable bag. Sure. Yeah. When I was in high school for one summer, I worked at a pool, and so we had those like terrible you know nachos right. you'd get from the concession stand at the pool and uh, i'm a sucker for it mm. they're, See, I, I'm not they're delicious i love the cheese i mm. think it's great at, at at sporting events i get them at ball but not in now. a car but in a car i think it's not gonna look really well in the upholstery because it's never coming out that day glow yellow Are you is gonna d- stay in the upholstery it's like suede your... seats it's not gonna go well no here's yeah. the thing i will lick a napkin i'll put it in my mouth oh my gosh and then i'll wipe it on the seat real quick i'm not gonna lick i'm anything. licking my fingies too there's, there's so much fingy licking this is so much saliva in my car there's a lot of saliva yeah, there in your car. Is Nachos, so, though, I tasty, Kent. But in an Aston Martin that, on a road trip, that's what I'm going with. Those chips are trip. soggy. Yes. Yeah. And it, then he, if you feed them to him, it's weird and awkward. If he tries to eat them himself, it's, it's just going us. over suit. It's just us. If we saw a ball game on the way... I'd be all in on the nachos, but they uh, are, we're driving through they, Wyoming. We are not seeing any they, ball games. They are a complicated, Agreed. road trip snack. But I still like them. You might see a few. Oh wait, did you say cattle or ball games? <laughs> <laughs> Utility cows, Joel. Actually, so. <laughs> All right, Joel, what's your next choice? So my next one is one I've talked about my love before. In fact, I talked about it on episode 390. This show is still underrated. Corn Every nuts. single show you talk about corn nuts. Corn nuts! I was going to steal that from you, but I, I couldn't do that to you. Corn but, nuts is to Joel as Shrek 2 is to Zach. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> but no, corn nuts get a lot of bad rap because yes, they are smelly. But once again, this is one of those keep you awake snacks that as you're driving at night and your eyes are getting heavy, you pop a corn and you're out, crunch it, and also you're like, I'm awake again. Yeah, it's not just that. It's it will wake up salt. It wakes up everyone in the car too when you crunch it. Once, uh, oh yeah, but right. like that's just it. You know, I'm, I want to stay awake so we can chat more about baseball, right, Zach? Yeah. Don't James kiss Bond. up. Don't it's, kiss up. It's about the snacks. We're ta- and Shrek. We can talk about Shrek. Zach. Oh, Aww. Shrek is life. <laughs> Football is life. But I think it's also come in a variety of good flavors as well. So, you know, it's not just one bland flavor the whole time. Well, you know what's weird? It starts with really good flavors. I like the barbecue ones personally. Those are good too. But no matter what flavor you eat, you get old man breath afterwards. That's guaranteed. Every flavor somehow becomes the ranch flavor. Yes. <laughs> After a while. I will say, though, as a positive for corn nuts, I like the size of the bags. Like, they're just easily pourable. Yes. Because they're long. You don't need to put them in your hands or anything nope. like that. You can pour them right Granted, out. Granted, they could spill. They but, could, but they are big enough that you usually can find them. They're not, gold, they're not yeah. goldfish either, where they crumble as soon as they touch no, a piece right. of upholstery. <laughs> I but, promise you, though, he won't want to have a conversation about baseball with you, though, because if you look his direction and have corn nut breath, he's going to kick you out of the car. Just opening the package alone, and I'm like, whoa, my word. But then Seriously. we're all smelling like it together. Smelling salts. <laughs> we're marinating in smells right now. <laughs> Joel, uh, that's a terrible choice, but I will admit, if we were both eating them at the same time, we're both suffering together and both enjoying it. It's like when you go on a time. date and they order onions, so you can order it's onions. all right. That's it's all good. I agree. It's all good. Oh, that, that makes sense. We all have corn yeah. nut bread. Okay. Kent? Staying in the cheese territory with cheese sticks. Just straight up cheese sticks. <laughs> okay. Cheese Are sticks. we talking yeah. uh, string cheese or is this like a cheddar stick? Because those ones make me feel weird. Um, cheddar sticks? Yeah. Really? Well, I mean, because what, I don't like eating just cheese sticks like by the bite. Mm-hmm. It's what more you, fun to be like, oh, look what look what I've made. Look what, how thin what do you think you typically is? would get at a gas station? Are you going to find high quality cheese sticks or, or string cheese? Or are you going to find... Those yellow cheese sticks. You're going to find the yellow cheese sticks. Sometimes you see the string cheese. Yeah, sure. Uh, by the way, I am a string cheese biter. I you, do not. What? You don't peel? No. That is devious. Yep. How dare you? Mm. Are you just no what patience? About, what about pulling peel Twizzlers? I, I don't even try. Wait, you have the patience to drive to Austin, Minnesota and not fly. <laughs> First ma'am. But you're a string cheese biter. Yes. Shame on you. More cheese at one time. <laughs> okay. So these, regardless of what kind we get, Zach will like it. Granted, you might need a cooler. Do we have a cooler on this trip? Nope. We're traveling for three days. We don't have a cooler. Nope. It's pasteurized. It's <laughs> Guess fine. what? It's kind of already probably filled with bacteria. I don't know what's going to be that. sweatier. You guys are the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By the way, I think I'm doing pretty well. Slim Jims, which are weird, and cheese sticks? Um, Slim Jim and cheese sticks bit at the same time. Yum. Yeah. You're basically adult Lunchables at this point. And it's easy cleanup because you have that weird little wrapper that you always just kind of find <laughs> under the seat anyway. It's like, yeah. Like it's been back seven like years since peel. I've had a cheese stick, but hey. Joel, your next choice? Zach, you and I have been uh, on this road trip for a while in my mind. We've yeah. been, we've where, been, where are we at? By this point, we're probably at... Uh, Cody, the, Wyoming, I think, actually. Oh, it's dark there. Yeah. Is that in The Last of Us? Could be. Uh, we already have been eating a bunch of corn nuts, so our breath at this point... Not so good. D- we don't care. No, nope, my we're, nice we're car smells it. real bad. It is, which is why I'm choosing Funyuns. We're already there. <laughs> We're you using Funyuns already? Why not? Because Funyuns are one of the... like When we talk about good snacks on here, I would literally choose Funyuns over many other things on this Joel, list. Joel, we're not in eighth grade standing at the vending machine trying to buy Funyuns or Munchums. Funyuns are Munchums. I, I love Funyuns. Yeah. They're so good. I love Funyuns. <laughs> um, but these... I mean, yes, they're smelling the car. They stay on your breath for days. But these are easily eatable. Not very messy at all. And the, the packs are usually... A good quality not size. Not messy. If you get a big one and you bite into it, oh, it crumbles in to the side. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's the good stuff. No, I actually, I do a little pre-crunch on the bag. Just give it a little bop. Really? Break up some of those larger ones. Can you say that again? Give it a little bop. <laughs> <laughs> and you can hear more about our thoughts and a song about Funyuns on Bake It Sell episode 303. Bet you can't cheer just one where we talked about chips. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a chip kind of. It is. But I do love Funyuns. I choose them over many other chips many times, and I think that they're a great road trip snack as long as you're not trying to impress them with your breath. And our breath is already bad. And I have only now realized that uh, we are not making out on this trip. So that's fine. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm glad you realized that in Cody, Wyoming. <laughs> took us all this way. Which, by the way, cheese sticks aren't exactly going to give you minty fresh breath either, Ken. I thought, it's about, thought I was going to get lucky. But look, it's a little milky. <laughs> and we need something to drink. <laughs> because I like that you're concerned about kissing and not all the salty food that we're eating without beverages. <laughs> we, I have a, seriously? we have water in the car. We Do have, we? We have Dasani. One Dasani to share. <laughs> well, it's been the in the back is, of no, the car. No one submitted a for soda, so years. I think soda's fair game. Whatever sure, we sure. have. We, we, oh, fair. we get something good. Okay. We got a fountain coke. All right. What's your next one, Kent? <laughs> Nothing's good from here on out. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> sesame sticks is my next choice because I'm jealous of all the salty stuff that Joel has. Mm. So 
It will probably be honey mustard because every time I have a sesame stick, it's honey mustard. Now, if you don't know what a sesame stick is, it's basically like a, a little uh, I, cracker straw. I call it a double wide pretzel. Kind of. Because it's like pretzel-ish, but it's but cracker have, based. But it's sesame seeds all on the outside. Yes. You, you'll find these in a lot of those uh, cheap savory trail mixes because they're yeah. cheap to make. Yeah. And these are very dusty, which is a problem, but still... The, the honey mustard ones are pretty good. They have a nice little tang to it. But these are kind of the Sahara Desert of salty snacks. So please let me get a soda. I, I hope that really isn't the rules. But that said, I think they're pretty good. I can eat probably 10 and I'm settled. They mustard. are very strong in scent, though. Like yes. you ever smelled sesame they, they really are. It's got that yeah. powerful boom when you open But like a bag. good smell, though. I don't know that I've ever had these. Oh, really? Like, I want to. I even looked at the gas station this evening. Zach, you don't want to. Did you look at a really these? cheap... Well, trail mix I, here's bags. the problem. I went to Maverick, and if Maverick doesn't have it, then you don't need it. <laughs> it's not a sponsor. <laughs> it's yeah, it's, we should clarify. No, it's if you guys both have your Maverick 44 <laughs> ounces. It's adventures for a stop, don't you know? <laughs> Are you ready for adventure? <laughs> All right, Joel, your next choice. Apparently, my theme is keeping people awake. With your breath. With our breath. Uh huh. And You with- know, some of the time we're going to be driving during the day. No, we only drive at night to avoid the zombies. Yep. <laughs> Through South Dakota? I guess. Yeah. But yes, as uh, I, I think one of the snacks we should have on our trip, since I'm just going with regular, I was looking for ones and I'm like, yeah, yeah, that could make a normal kind of road trip. Yeah. So I went with Flamin' Hot Cheetos. It was a good choice. Why would you not get Flamin' Hot Cheetos? They're Cheetos. Yeah. That, that was coming up for me. Yeah. Because I mean, it'll keep you awake. It's got good taste, good <laughs> crunch. Uh, the Cheeto will never get off your feet. It, it is a tier three chip. We did agree to that. It's not as good as regular shows, no. but it's like it's what's on here. It's, uh, it's you can better also, than a lot of stuff on you, this list. You can also hear more about this on episode 303. Yeah. Uh, bet you can't hear this one where he talked about chips. <laughs> here, here's my worry is that I think Joel's going to be driving at this part in South Dakota. And the problem is that stuff never. That, that Cheetle, is that what they call it? Never leaves your fingers. Can't, do you drive your radio your and your Aston Martin will be all covered in red Cheetle. Do you drive with your fingers or do you drive with your palms? I'm driving with palms up. Yeah, but you still touch the steering wheel. Licking my fingers. In an Aston Martin? You don't want to like poison that. No, no, but when I, when I do Cheetos, when I do any sort of Cheetos, I do dry hand, wet hand method where it's like one of the hand is going to be getting all the Cheeto all over it. The other hand is going to be clean. Do you lick it? Guess on my what? fingers? It still looks like a murder scene after you have hot Cheeto dust <laughs> on your fingers. fingers. For sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. It's <laughs> appetizing. <laughs> Okay, you can keep those. In fact, I'll take them. I'm a little jealous that you have a shelled snack, and so I'm going to pick pistachios. Pistachios. Okay. Pistachios. pistachios. Oh. pistachios. Oh. By the way, they're, fa- they're fancy pistachios. Are these oh. British? I mean, my I'm British are my these fancy pistachios. Pistachios. With my pistachios. So there are really good roasted and uh, salted pistachios. I just, that's how I say it, I think. <laughs> Guys, I think, I think that's how I say pistachios. Oh. <laughs> Listen, I would like some sunflower seeds. <laughs> And pistachios. <laughs> so the reason... Do you have a cashew? <laughs> Yo, okay. This guy with his bagels Almond. over here. <laughs> Bagel. The reason I like these more than sunflower seeds and have them ranked way higher is that you actually get something from the nut that you're cracking. Uh, and they're agreed. easier to crack. Yeah, you agreed. can crack them with your finger. Whoa, Psh. easier to crack than sunflower seeds? Easily. They already have a gap for you. It's a little clam. Some do. Those ones that no, don't... No. The ones that, that what you do is you just break one. You find a way to break out one, and then you grab one of the halves, and you just use that to wedge in well, there, what? twist it. Zach, we are so much easier. We are driving though, so that's a little I'm dangerous. I'm real good at driving. No, with that's my knees. And this thing is this is actually a very tasty snack. It is. The reason it's on here, I believe, is because if you're driving, there's no way you're going to be able to crack open pistachio yeah. shells while driving. And the nice thing is, generally, your hands won't be covered in saliva when you crack these. Sure. You could throw these out the window, and it won't stick to the side of the car no, as you're not. driving. So, no, but it will pop the car, the tire of the car behind you. <laughs> Pistachios, those those shells. Possibly, yeah. I mean, there's times when I feel like I'm doing like bench presses trying to get those shells open because it's just obviously like not we going. need to follow Zach's rules there. The prying thing, I'm gonna have to try that because oh, I, I will post a video. By the it way, is, if you say delicious. if you say it like pistachios, a butler actually comes and cracks it for you. So, uh, sir, would you like your pistachios? Do they not? Uh, die, I, back in the day, they used to be the shells used to be dyed pink. They don't, they don't do that anymore. Really? Yeah. And then I, I'm a fan. Like, not that I'm a fan of that, but I'm a fan have of the you, way they are now. Have you guys had the salt and pepper ones in that green package or the black package? I'm trying to remember the yes. brand, but it's really good. Yeah, yeah. No, these yeah. are good. Why is it pistachio flavored uh, pudding or never or good ice cream? No, no, it's good. Why does it not taste like pistachio? Um, none of the flavors taste like the thing. You think strawberry flavor tastes like strawberries? Yes. What? Snozberries taste like snozberries. What's a snozberry? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's next to the pistachios. Okay, guys, we are the music makers. We are the dream of dreams. Let's move on. So, <laughs> Kent, you're getting shelled. Or sh- I'm getting shelled. Shell yeah. Yeah. Yes. 
Well, which, so the passenger is going to have to you know do a lot of the heavy lifting, and he's got all that nacho cheese still on his fingers <laughs> dripping off, and he's like, "Here, let me get you." Let me get you a pistachio. Listen, he cracks listen, flaming hot. Flings over the entire. We already car. had our cheese and beef. <laughs> Pistachios are good, but on a road trip, questionable. Oh, okay, sunflower seeds. <laughs> sunflower seeds are literally a road trip snack. Yeah, literally, oh. they're a spit snack. Have you ever tried to crack a pistachio with your teeth? Absolutely, it's not fun. It cracks the tooth back. It does. <laughs> they pre-crack it for you. <laughs> Not always. <laughs> then you throw it out the window. No big deal. Then you kill it's a, a little mine. <laughs> Joel, what's your next choice? Yeah. <laughs> he just wants to attack. You're killing squirrels now? Because <laughs> they have no experience with nuts. Really, there's, no, there's only tumbleweeds out there anyway, so. Well, you know what? I think we've had enough savory. <laughs> That's all we've the one, the one sweet thing on this list? No, I'm going with the other sweet thing we have on this list. Is it Kent? It, aww. <laughs> No, it's Nature Valley granola bars. Oh, there's a lot of I hate. So when I saw this on the list, I'm like, yay, granola bars. They're good. I love the chewy brand granola bars. These aren't the chewy ones. They're Nature Valley. Nature Valley granola bars are the really dry ones that like, you know. One bite and the whole thing crumbles. Yeah, just like it's it's basically just oats after that. (laughs) But uh, these were first introduced in 1975. And uh, I think that's the only time they made them. They've all dried out since. <laughs> yes. They, they just but, made the one batch. Wait, I, let's say I'm batching on my own choice, but it's because we're getting to the area where I'm like, because uh, I like having granola bars on like when I'm hiking or when yeah. I'm road tripping. It's nice to have those because sure. they're, they're filling. They're somewhat healthy. And depending on if you got the, like the ch- chocolate covered fudge ones or not. Yeah. Which are also good. But that's not a Nature Valley. No, but Nature Valley, there is something sweetly simple about Nature Valley. Like, I agree. Even though they do crumble up and do make a bit of a mess, this is a nice, re- not refreshing, uh, but a nice it's something filling sweet that you need. Yeah. The problem is when it cracks, it will fall down and you'll be sitting on it. And basically you'll have sticky shrapnel on your pants for the rest of the way. You'll be like, wow, it's so irritating. It's pretty normal for a road trip in my <laughs> family. <laughs> I don't want sticky it. Sticky shrapnel. <laughs> we need to go to a rest stop. Apparently. <laughs> but the Aston Martin will forever be covered in this weird molasses Nuts. We'll no, wipe, we'll wipe the seats off when we look at uh, at Mount with, Rushmore. Yeah, with Kent's nacho hands wiping your seat off. <laughs> Listen, hot <laughs> Cheetos. <laughs> Cheetos. Uh, Kent's gonna have those little crusty nacho cheese under his fingernail thing going on. <laughs> this is. It, I mean, I I get that they're inconvenient. I get that they're dry, but I love these things. They're I think good. they're delicious. They're good, and you get like a ton of them for real cheap too. Yep. All right, Kent. Next choice. <sighs> I'm going against my heart here. Okay. Because I'm going for the other sweet thing. It's good and plenty. Why? I, guys, I don't like them. Kid, that was literally my last It was choice. not even going to be picked by Joel. That was going to be the garbage. I'm not even going to pick a choice. Oh, well, you're crazy because there's food that expires easily or there's good and plenty well, that lasts forever. First. No, listen. For me, this is like eating the... Sh- this is the opposite of pistachios. You eat the <laughs> shell and then you throw the black licorice away because <laughs> I hate black licorice plenty. so much. <laughs> These are bad and way too plenty. They're black licorice flavored candies. But granted, these are very shareable. They're not very messy. If one Why would you on the want ground, to share these? Zach has to eat it. I'm sorry, Zach, but you no. must eat one or two. Kent, much like the brightly colored frogs in the Amazon jungle, these are brightly colored to <laughs> tell you frogs? to avoid, that you're talking about? avoid eating them. Poison. The white and pink <laughs> is like, stay away. Listen, it's an old school car. We're going to eat some old school candy. <laughs> okay. I think every child at some point in their life when they were little was like, oh, this candy looks so bright and fun. Oh, why and is they, it spicy? Then they, <laughs> <laughs> then they eat it and see the blackness of the heart within. We're not eating Boston baked beans. Like, what are you guys talking about? It's Boston like good baked beans plenty. are preferable to good and plenty. <laughs> um, by the way, I love black licorice flavored stuff. <gasps> But I have not had a good and plenty like in Blah. twenty years. I, I started liking black licorice later in life, and so I, I've never had a good and so, plenty and liked it. Hey, my case though would be: is it a uh, shrapnel granola bar for the sweets, or is it black licorice, which you like? I like both of them. Well, if you if you do choose this though, Zach, you're not just getting good and plenty and Kent. You're also getting Choo Choo Charlie. What? The 1950 cartoon character who appeared in Good and Plenty television commercials. Wow. He was a little boy, pretended to be a rail, railroad engineer, and he would shake the box of candy in his hand in a circular motion, imitating a train's push rods and making it sound no, like a train. Here's what Zach is getting. <laughs> Once we finish that box of delicious Good and Plenty, <laughs> oh, I, I, put the box, I put the box in my mouth, I go, Foo. it's like a harmonica. Because <laughs> you can whistle through the box. So you've done that, right? With lemon heads? Yeah. I do. <laughs> what? You've never whistled through a box like that? Um, Milk does. What are you yeah. talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Why are we whistling <laughs> in boxes? 
I'm actually doing the Close Encounters song with a box of Good Plays. <laughs> <laughs> this show's ridiculous. This was literally the last thing I picked. I, I never would want to eat Good and Plenty's. Like, not even as a sweet break. Oh, I'll get some on the way home. I'll try them. Yeah. All right, Joel, your next choice? It's so bad from here on out. I'm not going to lie. I actually jumped four choices just to get to my sweet thing. I'm like, it's all bad. It's you know, all bad. Well, we had our break with our sweet treat. It's back to the salty. <laughs> That's all we got. And Zach, if there's one thing I know that he loves, it's sports. And what goes well with sports? Pork rinds. <laughs> That's disgusting, pork Joel. Rinds are so pork gross. rinds. You just had funyuns, which are glorified pork and rinds. And so we had this, the onions. Now we're going to have the pig skin. <laughs> so this is a light and crunchy snack. I feel so sick. It is <laughs> literally pieces of fried uh, skin, uh, pig skin, which they get uh, as a re- after they're rendering the lard off. Oh. Mm. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's hard. It's going to be getting harder to defend it. Truth be told, I don't think pork rinds. Pork greens, pork greens, pork greens. Pistachios. 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 and pork greens. Uh, I don't think they're that bad. They are, but I really don't choose to eat them because when you eat them, it's like oh, it tastes like a chip. No, not it too doesn't. bad. Yeah, it's just it's just crunchy. It tastes like a pig's ear. No, it doesn't. This yes, is not like beef jerky. This is puffed, fried pork rind, dehydrated in a bag. Pig's ear. No, no. Uh, this is a litmus test for me. If I went to like literally in real life, if I went on a road trip with someone, they pick pork rinds. I'd say you're a selfish person. Uh, these are low in carbohydrates, stink, by the way. They're messy. These these help you lose weight because <laughs> they're they're high in sodium and low in carbohydrates. Because what? you eat one and you never want to eat again. <laughs> oh, here's a fun fact. Because they scrape the lard off. Fun, you guys want a fun fact? <laughs> Why well, am I shooting myself in the foot? But whatever. <laughs> Just do it. Uh, pork rinds that are sold in the U.S. Occasionally, you'll find a little pork pink. Rinds. Pork rinds. <laughs> Occasionally, you'll find a pink or purple spot on the on the pork rind, uh-huh. and that's an edible mark because the USDA has stamped it. Saying it's it's been inspected and it's safe to eat. So it's like, hey, I tested this for you. It's okay. So it just seems a little unsettling to also see a purple spot on a pork rind. But people <laughs> like them. It tastes like a salty snack. You're gonna get some protein out of this. Gross. Zach and I could literally throw the little pigskin around. <laughs> just a, in an S Martin. I just turned my mouth to the side and he just tries to throw hey, it in. Yeah. Catch it, it, it goes it everywhere. Down. Yeah, we'll do like a little, you put like goalposts in front of your mouth and I'll fling it. I'll flick it to you. <laughs> Why is that car swerving so much? <laughs> They're playing pork run football. <laughs> Can't save us. <laughs> I can't. I'm at home eating my snacks on my own. You guys just died. That okay. so much fun. Listen, it's almost dinner time. <laughs> day two. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Is that, that was all day one? That was Our all day stomachs one. are murdered. Day one and a half. We had mean cheese last night. <laughs> this is between two choices. And one, I feel like it's just going to be too messy. And so I'm going to go with... And this, the, the term does not fit gas station food whatsoever, but no. I'm going with cured meats. <laughs> okay, okay. We have Slim Jims one night and cured meats the next. <laughs> yes, sir. Ooh, nitrates. <laughs> you guys aren't running on nitro. You're running on nitrates. <laughs> oh, my word. So I actually really like peppered salami. Yeah, sure. But it has to be like artisanal peppered salami, okay. right? Yeah. Um, the, the smell is a bit, it's a bit yeah. much. You can get that t- at the Circle K, can you? You can, but <laughs> also K okay now. Guys, we're in a different state. <laughs> ever since we were kids, we saw that little red package of pepperoni, and we went, "Hey, I wish I could eat that all day long, every day." We're adults now. We can. We can buy it ourselves. Uh-huh. And guess what? Super shareable. Little greasy, so you don't let it touch any surface because that is going to be a slippery. Oh yeah. But it's like, hey Zach, do you want three at a time because they're all kind of stuck together? I'm going to feed these to you, Zach. That's what you get when you travel with me. <laughs> but here's I, I the do problem. love the bonus extra. Yeah. yeah, here's the problem though: is nitrates give me a headache. Do they? If I start, if I, I don't know. Some of these these meats, these ones with heavy nitrates in sure. them, they give me a headache. I get like I get like how sick interesting while eating them, and I, that's not like I hate the flavor, but yeah, I, I can't have these on a road trip. Well, here's what's nice though: is I'm making a, this little charcuterie board. I said it kind of right. Pistachio charcuterie board <laughs> with, and we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pre bite the cheese sticks. What? <laughs> and put the little cubes down, oh, and what? you're getting the cured meats. I'm getting a charcuterie board. And I, and Wait, you're, you're getting slobbered day old, <laughs> Listen, slobbered on cheese. And I'm putting it in the nacho cheese tray like a little platter. <laughs> I'm, I know I'm not stomach like this. So much food I had a speed bump here. <laughs> Can't, you're, are, you're giving Zach so much food poisoning right now. Uh, yeah, the gas did. you get did. your food handling permits before <laughs> this? <laughs> Ten years ago, it's fine. Oh. So yeah, cured meats is my choice. Joel. Hey, Zach. Yeah. What do kangaroos and road trips have in common? Oh, no. Pouches? Pickles in a pouch. Uh, 
Why do the kangaroos this have it? Is I don't like know. Bottom three, Joel. No, it's Kent. Have you? Okay, we all like pickles, right? I, I do like another? a good. Pickle. I like pickles too. Yeah. Do you, have you ever gotten the ones in the movie theater? Never. No. That was always a little weird to me. But in a road trip, they're in a pouch, self-contained, different flavors of maybe Joel. spicy, sour, garlic, kosher. What if that pouch spills? No, it's not a what if. That pouch has no durability. None. Once you open that package, it's just a juice pull. Hey, guys, <laughs> do you know what the, you know what athletes use to get over muscle cramps? Don't say pickle juice. Pickle juice. Ugh. Do they pour it on their skin? Because that's what's going to be happening. It. In do I drink pickle juice? You, you feel better. <laughs> Wait, Zach, we've been in the car for a long time now. We're feeling a little cramped. Let's drink some pickle juice. Eat a uh, pi- share a pickle. I'll break oh it in man. half. Oh, man. My legs are Hold sore. Whoop, you got pickle whoop. juice? You guys just got pulled over because you're driving under the influence. Because often those pickles in that pouch are six months to two years old because they can last that long. <laughs> they can last Unrefrigerated. that long. Unrefrigerated. Why are... Uh, Fermented pickle juice. Zach, I will examine cu- the expiration dates. <laughs> why are cucumbers the only pickled thing that just gets to be called pickles? That's a good point. Wow. <laughs> what? Deep That's thoughts. deep, yeah. <laughs> are these the kind of deep thoughts we can look forward to Listen, on a road yes. trip? So, Joel, I'm As asking, we're our pickle together. I'm asking you this. So Zach, you, we, can, we can lady in the tramp this pickle. We can lady in the no. tramp one pickle? Yeah. Like just a one giant big pickle, bite. You and me. Crunch. Yeah. Crunch. I thought you said no kissing. <laughs> we're not kissing. You're kissing with the pickle? Remember, I realized in Wyoming we're not making out. <laughs> we're, we're, yeah, you get arrested. So, we're in whoop, South Dakota whoop. now. Uh, <laughs> shh, do a kiss with an expired pickle. <laughs> 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 but these are these are uh, like these are hearty. These are filling. It's an actual vegetable on the trip. This is going to give us a little boost. Wow! Pickle in a pouch. Okay, kid. This is a mistake. That this was a mistake. Bad. You're saying uh-huh. you're going to be holding your pouch pickle, <laughs> <laughs> spilling it all over and my you're going to be eating it. Your mouth juice is going to get in there. Then you're going to drink the juice or share it with Zach. No, you drink the juice before and then eat the pickle. Oh, oh goodness. Okay. Kent. <laughs> I don't know where to go from here. Everything is bad. So I'm going to go with. <laughs> soup <laughs> don't you pronounce it soup <laughs> soup, soup. soup. someone submitted soup. soup i'm going with soup this is, is this like in a goofy movie uh, yeah yeah with a little uh, the it, cigarette lighter and here's what i want to know is it is it chowda is it minnesota <laughs> well in minnesota it's chowda. chowda is it minestrone is it split pea? <laughs> here's the question though zach you got two options here with yeah. the, with his with kent's soup yeah either you are drinking this cold on the road, yeah, which is uh, not a very appealing thought. Excuse me, I have a Stanley cup that keeps it warm for a long time. Or <laughs> this is you, have for scald- two days. <laughs> you have scalding hot soup that you have to somehow eat, and it will spill everywhere on oh, your Oh, listen, lap. Goldilocks, this is just right. <laughs> Zach, it's time. We got to eat the soup right now. Actually, let's drink it and share a straw. <laughs> Zach, I know you've just had so much salami, but it's soup time. <laughs> hey, you know what the best thing about the soup at gas stations is? The little crusty thing that forms around the top of the metal mm, can as, you, that's so as good. you're ladling it out. Yeah. And the mm. three different types of soup that are encrusted on the ladle that's that you're like getting the top the broccoli of pudding and cheese that's, out that's of. hardened over it's so good you have to break through the layer on the top to get to the soup yeah i like my soup with the crust <laughs> yeah if you don't have saltines, it's like french onion soup if you don't have saltines you get the crust it's, instead of cheese it's salmonella <laughs> break on through the other side and get your soup i don't know I, listen none of us want to chew soup the listener did okay so soup, I, soup sounds great on a cold day but on a road trip that's it got oh it's raining Ooh, but we need the, some soup <laughs> <laughs> and guess what i'm gonna put it right it, uh, hey zach could you turn on the heat real quick i'm gonna put it right in just front right of the, in front of the vent <laughs> i yeah. thought your stanley cup gave everything just right kent yeah it's true it's true when did you get a stanley cup in south dakota <laughs> At a gas station. (laughs) Sell them. Listen, it's a 7-Eleven Stanley Cup. It's not a Stanley. It's a Stanley. (laughs) The knockoff version. All right, Joel. Joel. What among the rest of the bad stuff are you going to give Zach? Well, there's one thing you didn't pick that I don't think is bad at all. And that's, you know, how Kent uh, spoon fed you those soggy chips that were flopping all around? Yeah. We're doing a little chips and salsa. Chips and salsa. Here's how it's going to work, Zach. You and I are going to, you're going to be driving. I'm going to hold the salsa in my left hand towards you. And then all you and then I'll hold the the bag with my right hand. All you have to do, reach in blindly the bag, pick out a chip, dip it in the salsa, put it in your mouth. You don't have to worry about. You will provide anything. the stability for me. I'm I'm providing the stability of chips hey. and salsa because that's why it's on the list. Chips and salsa is fantastic. So, it's not a great road you, trip food. Have you ever gone to a Mexican restaurant? And, and ever not spilled sauce <laughs> on the table on your menu? That's what's going to be happening all over Zach's lap. Let me not take you to a restaurant, kids. <laughs> You've taken me, and Just I spill every around. single time. Uh, yeah. yeah, there's no way that the juice, the water base, 
in salsa is going everywhere, and that's going on the pants of his three piece suit. We can that get guy napkins at the gas station. We can just have. So like, you're just going to drape them like, on your pants, like the red carpet of napkins. Yeah, yeah. on the way. And or if they don't have napkins, we'll just grab some and toilet Joel, paper. This isn't a bad choice. The reason I chose nacho cheese is just it sticks. And it doesn't it drip does as stick much. All over the all over the seats, on all the over chip. the dashboard. It's still and in your, your hands, taste buds. You're waving to Mount Rushmore with cheese Listen, all over your There's hand. a reason you chose this near the end because <laughs> no. it's salsa and it's that's messy. It's messy, but yeah. it's also a delicious and filling. But you still get the tortilla chip, like, which is good. Yeah, you get the tortilla chip and the vegetables in the salsa will help you feel a little better. <laughs> From your nitrate headache? Yeah, my nitrate. My head, you have the nitrates in your car. I've generally avoided them on my road trip. Your tongue is destroyed from all the salt you've eaten. And my breath is fantastic. <laughs> from the corn nuts and funyuns. <laughs> Kent? Zach, it's time to get messy. Oh, no. Oh, the nacho cheese wasn't enough? It wasn't enough. No, don't, t- don't say wings. <laughs> Zach, I'm going to say buffalo wings. Okay. These are, now, these have Listen, been under the, uh, the, I, the heat I, oven. I love buffalo wings, right? They're going to be my uh, death row food, right? Gas station buffalo wings. Yeah. The only positive to these. The only because these are disgusting. And I like yeah. taquitos from 7-Eleven, mind you. On the roller. The only positive to these is they've been under that warm the lamp, lamp. That yeah. there's almost no sauce on there. Yeah. Like it's the color of sauce, but it's not really going to come <laughs> off of the wing. Granted, there's very little chicken in this buffalo wing at all. Yeah. That's, that's why I'm choosing it's near the end. It's basically skin, bone, and maybe some salt and pepper on it. That's pretty much it. But th- these are buffalo wings, which implies buffalo sauce, which is literally hot sauce and butter. So What's these, wrong with that? These got, that's going to get everywhere. No, no. I literally said the sauce is cooked in, and sometimes they don't even sauce it all that well. You can't take away the sauce from buffalo wings. What makes it buffalo? Has it not been under the heat lamp all day, though? They're generally dry. You're getting these fresh. <laughs> Fresh from 7-Eleven. <laughs> and the sauce is going to stay wings. on there. Look, yeah. the, this isn't a good choice. I'm not saying that. I'd still... Zach's going to choke on a flap or a drumette. Yeah. <laughs> but listen, you know, I this is something, if the, the sauce does get everywhere, I will look all the sauce off my fingies. And oh. uh, it's not going to get really anywhere. The bones are a little annoying. Yeah. That's kind of clean up, but I will put them also in the yeah, tray. Where are you going to put From those? the nacho cheese. What tray? Oh, in the nacho tray? That yeah. you, didn't you use that for something else, though? Yeah, that was the charcuterie platter. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why couldn't it be nuggies? Uh, yeah. Okay. Joel? You know, Zach, we've yeah. been on this road trip for a while. Uh-huh. I think I finally confessed to you that I like to live on the edge. Oh. Every now and then... I like to get a little crazy, huh. which is why we're getting a gas station sandwich together. Whoa. Hey, Joel. Hey, Joel. Yeah. Sometimes when I'm feeling crazy, I'll get an egg salad sandwich. <gasps> egg salad. Yep. That was my last pick. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because egg salad, anything like think about that. Eggs, mayo. Yeah. Whatever bread they have from a gas station. I had some ketchup to it just on the road trip with Kent. Also, I read some um, nutrition stuff about uh, sandwiches at gas stations. So if, did I. If they haven't been stored at 41 degrees or lower, they've already grown illness-causing bacteria. They say make sure to look at the thermometer. As, yeah. And if there's not a thermometer, get the lowest sandwich That's what they possible. say. So don't get the top one. It has to be cold to the touch. And also, sometimes gas stations, they just put a new date stamp on the top of the food. Sometimes just to yeah. sell them, they put a new date there. This one, Zach, I've I know you have some, some question- stomach I've issues. I've had some questionable chicken salad sandwiches yeah. from a gas station. Yeah, There's going to be some rest stops in your there future. Is, but at the same time, this is real food. This is sustenance. This is food. And we're, by, yeah. by right now, we're getting very close to Minnesota, and we're desperately... We're probably in Minnesota borders. If I have another Funyun, I'll puke. Yeah. And so we need something real. Real food. And I think it's going to be our gas station sandwich. The two remaining choices, by the way, are technically real food. So, Kent... Are have, we to our final pick? You have our last pick. Okay, Joel, your list is set. Kent, whoa! I ended on a gas station sandwich between the two hard-boiled eggs and tuna fish pouches. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Both are protein rich <clears throat> and food. This isn't a hard-boiled egg. I just hard-boiled myself. Right? No, this, this is, is like you have to buy it at the gas station. It's all. It's, it's so, got the brine in the package. Here's what I'm debating: and are these wrapped in the saran wrap that they kind of wrap weird fruit in at it's the like gas the, station it's like too? The, it's like the cheese stick wrap. They have those where it's like. You kind of peel them open. Yeah, you peel it back. And they oh, go, mercy. <laughs> the, the second you open those, yeah. that smell. It's going to smell like Yellowstone in your car. <laughs> or tuna, tuna fish pouches, which are sanitary. Sure. But they're, and they are flavored, right? You can get like ranch, for example, oh. or something spicy. I don't like it either. There's mayo in it. Nuts. Ugh. Yeah, Kent hates mayo. I hate mayo. But... But there's no mayo a lot of times. It's, a lot of times it's just, it's just the tuna. Just yeah. to avoid the smell, I am going to choose tuna fish pouch. They are both smelly. That's yeah. your logic. Just to avoid the smell, I'm choosing the fish. That's what you just yes. said. Those are the words that came out of your Listen, mouth. Listen, you bite into that egg, 
and that yolk is like a bomb in the car that may never leave. And I think there's a lot of that going to be happening in the car, kind of. And honestly, things happen that are never going to leave. With with the pouch of the two, with the tuna fish pouch, that sounds so <laughs> gross. You, they're like weird metallic ones. You can kind of just squeeze it into your mouth if you don't have like a spork. I feel so sick right now. I can't. But even, Kent, you're literally saying that a hard boiled egg is the worst possible road trip. Uh, actually, gas station sandwich would have been my least favorite. See, and I would say good and plenty. Yeah, I hear you. I Although hear you. tuna fish was the second. And worst. I know that Zach is really put off by certain smells, and I do think that the egg is going to smell worse. Oh, because you want your car to smell like cat food. <laughs> we love cats. It's insane how much it smells like cat the, food. The yeah. name, by the way, the name tuna comes from the Greek word meaning to rush or dart along. And I'm telling you what, if you eat these tuna fishes, pounds, <laughs> that's exactly what you're going to be doing. It's a good thing it's a fast yeah. car. Yeah, well, we're almost You've got there. a fast car. We're almost there to the Spam Museum. So that would be the, the last two things you That's ate. what we're all in the mood for after this road trip is Spam <laughs> at the Spam Museum. Uh, tuna pouches, by the way, just a little fun fact between cans and pouches. Uh in cans, they're packed in larger pieces, and the solid uh, packaging keeps all the meat intact. The pouches, however, are soft-sided, and so the pieces inside get broken apart and get mushier. So you're eating mushy fish. Yeah. And it's you're okay fish. with that. Yeah, I grew up on it. Not the pouches, but still. What did you mix it with back in the day? Did you mix it with mayo? Uh, pickles and mayo, yeah. I, I like mayo okay, but just a little bit. Huh. Yeah. I would have not guessed that about you. Really? I think I learned you something. You can't eat it. straight tuna fish. Gross. Some people do. Cats do. But it smells like cat food. Yeah, that's true. <sighs> Zach, we're so sorry about no. what we brought to the table. My, you, you my unleashed... car stinks and <laughs> is so dirty. You unleashed us in a gas station and told us to go crazy, and this is what happened. You couldn't come back with peach rings? I don't like peach rings. The listener wouldn't allow us to. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day we could do a good gas, uh, road trip snacks uh, version of this. Uh, comment if you'd like to hear that. Yeah. And let us know which car you'd end up going with. Because Zach's about to pick. All right. I'm going to go through your lists, and then I will consider which one I'm going to pick. All right, Joel. Yes. In alphabetical order. Your list. As, as, I, as I, I want, I'm walking out of the gas station with this in my hands. It is as follows. Yes. Chips and salsa, <laughs> corn nuts, flaming Hot Cheetos, Funyuns, a gas station sandwich. Do, do you, did you get an egg salad and a tuna? I, I think it's just egg salad. Since we have the tuna as an option, it's other egg option. Salad Let's is, say egg salad. Egg salad yeah. sandwich. Goldfish, Nature Valley granola bars. Pickle in a pouch, pork rinds, <laughs> sunflower seeds. That is your list. That's not a bad list, That's actually. That's not a bad list. Okay. I mean, it's going to stink. It's not, we're, a, we're it's gonna not walk, a great list. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to walk into the spam factory, and they're going to be like, what's that smell? Even though they're making spam. We're making spam, and you guys, you guys smell you. bad. <laughs> yeah. Kent, congratulations. You are walking out of the gas station okay. with who knows how old buffalo wings, Uh huh. cheese sticks, some cured meat. I believe you settled on a bag of pepperoni. Yes. Good and plenty. Nachos. Some pistach- pistachios. 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 Sesame sticks. Slim Jims. Soup. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the point. It's so weird. That's the point where you're like, what's wrong with you? Yeah. And Why did you get soup? And tuna fish pouches. Wow. It's like, there's like seven meals in there already. And then picked so last he wasn't even picked is the... Hard boiled egg pre packaged, which I think is wrong. Listen, eggs are good. I think when we get out and stretch our legs, if you, you grab one of those. You're who knows good. how old that is? Protein packed. Joel, what was your last choice? Was My last choice was good and plenty. Good and plenty. I was not, not going to pick Kent, that. Your last the place sandwich. wouldn't have picked was a sandwich. Yeah. All right. Uh, Kent, in the edit, please put in some thinking music as I discover which one of you is going on my trip. All the scores tabulated, and yes, Wait, how I did said you scores tabulate the score? Because much like I did, and, and it made Joel upset because he was going to invite me to the video game party with all the tier one chips that I chose. Mm-hmm. Um, I tried to be a little scientific about this and give them a, a personal rating, and then I also factored in a little bit of the the pairings and maybe adjusted the, the score a little bit. And you are taking into account uh, smell, messiness, smell, and flavor, messiness, flavor. All, all the factors okay. all and right. what it does to my beautiful car, Joel. Oh, no. <laughs> nice work. You've scored on the Zach scale where I went not not tier one, two, and three. I went one through five. One being the highest or one being the One lowest? being the lowest, five being the highest. Okay. You scored 27. That's points. not bad. I don't know how he did it, but it's not bad. One, I got 27 out of one through five. That's awesome. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not good at math. <laughs> let's uh, let's look at some of the highlights. Um, personally, you chose my only number five, which is Goldfish Crackers. I absolutely hey, love them. Yes, they are a must. Lucky. I also gave Solid four snack. points to Funyuns. As stinky as they are, I think they're delicious. They are, oh, and no. as inconvenient as a Nature Valley granola bar is, I do like them. So I gave four points to those as well. Wow! But he you, talked to me first. You unfortunately Uh-oh. picked pickle in a pouch, which I gave one point. <laughs> have and you tried a pickle in a pouch? <laughs> sunflower seeds. Because I have that. <laughs> <laughs> and sunflower seeds, which I also gave one point for being the absolute most con- inconvenient on this list. It is like the road trip snack. It is not worth the trouble. Kent. Yeah. How you doing? I'm nervous. Why am I nervous? Because this trip is happening. I don't even want to go because I don't want to eat these snacks. Unfor- <laughs> un- unfortunately, you did not pick any of a uh, five Ooh. scoring snacks. However, you did pick three snacks that scored a four. Okay. That's so scientific. Cheese sticks. Okay. I like cheese sticks on road trips. Yeah. Just saying. Nachos. I'm a sucker. Wow. As messy as they can be. Gee, I am a sucker for them. And pairing with the cheese sticks, I do like Slim Jims. So but, my number one like pick was good. Together. Yes. Yes. Kent, you picked two choices that had one point. Almost as inconvenient as sunflower seeds. Why do I have soup on this trip? <laughs> but it's funny. <laughs> it's really funny. Soup. And the other being tuna fish pouches. Yeah. Because you were stuck with that one. What did egg get? Two? Also one. Oh, okay. you, it was the same either. Oh, okay. they're good. The they're good protein boosts. Nope. And remember, Joel, you have 27 points on I this do. weird scale. I do. Kent. Mm-hmm. You remember I talked I talked to Joel first. Yeah. That's usually what happens when the first But this you time scored twenty six. Oh! <laughs> I cannot believe <laughs> you were so one close. point off. <laughs> That's the 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 one horrible egg off. <laughs> I just threw in these numbers and I was like, yeah, that'll that'll work out. It's so scientific. I cannot believe you were one point so off. So I'm going on the road trip with you? Joel, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> so many bathrooms along the way. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> it was so bad. You're to bring a shovel. <laughs> From dang dang it, Joel, you win. Kent, I hope you enjoy watching Muppet Babies with all oh, your snacks. That's the worst part. With you. I might <laughs> fly. A tuna pouch while I'm watching. gonna fly to Austin, Minnesota, meet you guys there. Oh, just show up? Uh huh. With your stinky tuna breath? <laughs> oh, like you'll be better? Eh, maybe. <laughs> By that point we've showered, I think. So there you go. That's, <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. I feel happy and sad at the same time. <laughs> but let us know who you would be taking with on your road trip. Keeping in mind, we're only scoring based on the treats we bring. Don't right. bring our personalities into this or our pronunciation of certain nuts. Pistachio. Pistachio. Fancy. Almond. <laughs> Aluminum. <laughs> it's British. But let us know on Facebook. Let us know on Instagram. Let us know on Twitter. We want to hear from you. And we want you to take our pre-quiz to see if you're the listener. Before we go, we want to thank some patrons in a couple of categories, including the I Am The Listener tier, which is Briggs Is Hot, Angela Plotz, Casey Cummings, Juice the Cooler King Swallow, Andrew in the Cold and Dark, Sir and Madam Hicks, Jennifer Kilkowski, Braden Winterton, Shannon West, Rocky and Steph, Adam and Rachel Crump, Ryan and Marley, Dave Kelly, Lady Terry A. Finley, and Scott Sprague. Then we have our Baking Council, which includes Debbie Foster, Glow Clan Daniel, our favorite couple, the Madsons, Johnny English the Brick, Star Wars expert Kyler, Her Royal Highness Jessica Terry, Stephen, everyone's favorite Ross, the one, the only Chris Anderson, Nicole Deakale, and Beaker. Thank you, patrons. You are the pickles to our pouches. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to find me, you can sign me at 76 Joel on Twitter, or you can find me performing with Quickwits. They perform at the Midvale Performing Arts Center. For more details, go to qwcomedy.com or go to the Quickwits Facebook page. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Kenny3DD. You can read my movie reviews at showtimeshowdown.com. And if you want to connect with me, you can do so on Twitter and Instagram at Tumbling Mustard. But more importantly, make sure you're following Bacon Sale. Go ahead and like that Facebook page and visit at Bacon Sale on Twitter and Instagram. While you're doing that, stop by tpublic.com slash bacon sale and get yourself some merch. We love to see it. Take a picture, post it on Instagram. It makes us very, very happy. Mm-hmm. And then if you like the show, you like what's going on here and you want to support us further, visit patreon.com slash bacon sale where support starts at just $3 a month. You can get all sorts of fun behind the scenes benefits, including... Uh, you know, uh, bacon bits that happen almost weekly. And mm-hmm. hey, this most recent one, we filmed a, a video version of. You got to see Kent get very happy about receiving a belated Christmas gift. Patreon.com slash bacon sale. So until next time, get ready for pork rinds, pickles and pouches, and potty breaks. <laughs> so That's- much weather. Because we opened the door to the listener. Oh, Always a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I stand by it. 
They bad. have a restaurant within the Spam Museum. I wonder what they serve. I already went to the Potato Museum. Uh, they do charge, though, in Idaho. So Wow, messed yeah. up. I can YouTube a sound. <laughs> you just made Kent so sad. I just cried, actually. <laughs> because it's kind of meat. Mostly beef. From Mostly. The, from the oldest cows. They're called utility cows. <laughs> <laughs> and also, we can share one bottle of Dasani. Oh, this candy looks so bright and fun. Oh, why and is they, it spicy? I don't like my chewing gum to stab me in the gums. Are. Isn't it weird that when they, they when they crackle on the floor, they multiply yeah. as well? <laughs> it's like a miracle. <laughs> but, I've read that somewhere. Uh, <laughs> but Corn Nuts is to Joel as Shrek 2 is to Zach. No matter what flavor you eat, you get old man breath afterwards. We're marinating in smells right now. <laughs> but you're a string cheese biter. Yes. Shame on you. More cheese at one time. Just give it a little bop. And I have only now realized that uh, we are not making out on this trip. Outside. You burn more calories oh, yeah. <laughs> than you're eating. <laughs> so we're basically losing weight as we're driving. <laughs> Maverick doesn't have it, then you don't need it. Soup. It still looks like a murder scene after you have hot Cheeto <laughs> dust on hot your fingers. Cheetos for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going with the other sweet thing we have on this list. Is it, Ken? Pork greens. Pork greens. Pork greens. Pork greens. <laughs> oh, oh, and pork greens. <laughs> Why is that car swerving so much? <laughs> They're playing pork run football. <laughs> South Dakota now. Do uh, curse with an expired pickle. What are you talking about? 